want to thank the Lord for spirit of life that I could be here in this medium at this moment. Yeah, to speak to your heart. Um, the scripture reference this morning is John 6 and verse 63. And it says this in the New King James Version. It says, the words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. In the NIV, it says, the spirit gives life. And it's on your screen this morning. The spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of spirit and life. They are full of spirit and life. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. This morning I want to talk to you on the subject, God speak to you through his word. God speak to you through his word. Amen. So let's see what God is saying to us this morning. God will speak to you through his word. Jesus said this, the words that I speak, Jesus said it to them. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. But don't go cherry picking. Check this. Don't go cherry picking for feel good scriptures. Some of us read our Bible and we only read the good parts of the scriptures. The part that makes us feel good. Don't go cherry picking for good, for feel good scriptures. To grow in faith, my brothers and sisters, you must spend time, must spend time every single day, each day. Spend some time reading through your Bible. Reading through your Bible. Sometimes you just need to randomly open the Bible and read. Just randomly open the Bible and read and see what God is saying to you in that moment. You can't, you know, decide, just, just arbitrarily decide that one verse applies to you while another doesn't and a lot of us does that a lot of us use the scriptures to throw words at each other mm -hmm. a lot of us use the scriptures just 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 to, to to get yourself excited but there's so much more to the script so much more to this book that we call the bible that god has inspired writers to write for us listen um all scripture is inspired by God. That means the entire book is inspired by Jesus Christ, by God himself. And it's useful to teach us what is true and what makes us realize what is wrong in our lives. Are you with me this morning? God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. That's what 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 and 17 says he uses his word to prepare and equip us to do every good work to profit in a business you must know your business thoroughly otherwise you will be out of business soon and the way to succeed in your Christian life is to make it your business to know your Bible make it your business to know the scriptures make it your business to read his word make it your business so you need to know it thoroughly it's like the analogy analogy of the sperm and the egg neither the male sperm nor the female egg is capable of reproduction it's only when the sperm impacts and is embraced by the egg that conception occur leading to life and leading to birth and it is the same my brothers and sisters with our spiritual growth when god's word and the receptive heart gets together something is going to happen something is going to happen something is going to take place you can be prolonged exposure to scriptures you can beat that without it you won't hear what God is saying to you without the scriptures you won't hear his voice you will always be dependent on somebody else's interpretation hmm are you hearing me this morning 
You will always depend on somebody else saying, Thus saith the Lord. Because you don't dialogue with him through his word. Can you imagine communicating with your husband or communicating with your wife on that basis where somebody else is telling you what your wife thinks? Somebody else is telling you what your husband thinks? Somebody else is telling you what your husband meant? Someone else is telling you what your wife meant by what she said. How long do you think your relationship would last? How long will you think, do you think that relationship, that marriage would last if somebody else is interpreting everything that you say, everything that you do to your spouse? The same principle this morning, the same principle applies to your relationship with God. Don't let anyone speak for you. Don't let anyone else speak for God. You speak to him yourself and you hear his voice yourself. You listen to his voice yourself. So today, my brothers and sisters, let God speak to you personally through his word. Let him speak personally to, to you through his word. And remember, my brothers and sisters, God speak to you through his word. According to the scripture, the spirit gives life and the flesh counts for nothing. The words that God has spoken to you, they are full of spirit and life. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. Thank you, Lord God, for speaking to us the way you do, for allowing us, Lord God, to recognize that we need to read your scriptures more. We need to read your scriptures with understanding more. We need to communicate with you through your words, through the scriptures. And so, God, we just glorify your name and we praise you, Lord. We want to thank you, God, for everything that you have done for us and everything that you are about to do. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say amen and amen. God bless you this morning. And may these words find you at a place where it can be receptive to your heart as you give God glory and you give him the praise. Amen. It's the morning show. It's the morning show. Gospel Joy with DJ D. Roy. D. Roy. D. Roy. D. Roy. D. Roy. D. Roy.